Today I'm talking about one of the most iconic guitars ever made. We're talking the Fender Telecaster. Here goes. The Fender Telecaster is one of the most iconic guitars ever made. It was originally designed by Leo Fender as the Esquire guitar, which has the characteristic single cutaway and a single pickup, whereas the Telecaster has two pickups. Now the Esquire was originally designed in 1949 and changed slightly into what we know as the Telecaster today, originally released as the Broadcaster in 1950. Well, and after a couple of years, I guess the Broadcaster name was already trademarked, so they had to change the name. Now they're called the Telecaster, or Tele for short. Prized and cherished over the years and used by many artists, from George Harrison of the Beatles to John Five of recent fame, who's a big, huge Telecaster fan. You may not know this, but even Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin used the Telecaster on quite a few projects, including early on with the Yardbirds. Brad Paisley even has his own Paisley version of the Telecaster that's got Paisley print on it. The distinctive design of the Telecaster starts with its single cutaway design, where we've got one cutaway here, and its unique pickup configuration. We have one single coil here, a lot of times called a lipstick pickup because it looks like a little lipstick case. And this is another single coil pickup back here called the bridge pickup. Now, in case you don't know how pickups work and why they're called pickups, well, if you know anything about electricity and magnetism, they're related in ways. These are wound coils that create a magnetic field around them when plugged into the amplifier. They pick up the vibration of the strings above them, translate that into electrical signals that come out the plug here and go into your amplifier so you can listen to it. Now, there are other configurations of the Telecaster, which include having humbucker pickups, which are dual coil pickups that do some kind of noise cancellation. There's even another really obscure model called the B-Bender. And what that is, there's all these contraptions back here connected to the strap knob right here. And when people play it, you pull down on this and it bends the B string up, kind of like uh, doing a little honky tonk slide guitar. Now, brand new Fender Telecasters can run you anywhere from about $450 all the way up to $1,200 or more, depending on the model that you want and depending on who makes it. That would be the Fender price, I think starting at about $450. In contrast, what I have here is called a Squire. It's actually made by Fender by a company called Squire that Fender licenses their design out to. And it's made a little less expensively, let's say. This one cost me all of about $165. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's got this, this beautiful butterscotch coloring to it. It has the classic design of the lipstick pickup and the single coil bridge pickup. And it even has this part here, the bridge, which they used to call an ashtray bridge because they used to go up on both sides. They still make models like that, but this one just doesn't have that on it. Now I'm really impressed with this one for $165. There's no fret sprout, it came really clean. You know, the fretboard's not all that great looking, you know, the, the green's all right. And it's got the, it's got the inlay in the back. Uh, but this butter, butterscotch coloring is fantastic. It plays great. Feels good. I still haven't even taken the plastic off of that. Another defining characteristic of the Telecaster is its knob configuration. Look at these beautiful knurled knobs. Oh man, they are great looking. And it's signature three-way pickup control. So you can go between your bridge pickup and your neck pickup. Now I was looking on Craigslist locally recently and I found them anywhere from about $400 all the way up to $4,500 for something that's called a relic piece. And what that is, is they basically beat the hell out of it so it looks like it's been really used. In fact, the Paisley model is actually relic as well. So now you know when you see this iconic guitar shape, you know that it's a Telecaster. And like the kids always tell me to say, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click that notification bell.